Hey everyone, in this Witcher 3 tutorial I'll show you how to repair weapons and armor. So let's have a little look. So I'm pretty high level here, but of course I still need to repair my gear. So if I go into the um, inventory page and I can have a little look at my weapons and armor. So let's have a look at my weapons first. So if you scroll over any of these, down the bottom you should see a little hammer and it shows you the percentage of your weapon. Now if this gets really low you'll get a warning on the screen that it shows as a red damaged icon, uh, sort of icon of either your sword or your armor saying it's in trouble. Um, and you can see that one's fine, 92%, 94%, 93%. So I'm a, my gear is in good nick here but I can still repair it if I so wish. So the way you repair it is you need to get hold of um, some repair kits and this is how you can repair away from an armorer or a blacksmith uh, and these will tell you what they will do so 40% of item durability restored is a journeyman amateur only 15% and a master 90% so of course these cost more as you find them and you've got repair kits for the armor and also for the weapon so to use it, so for example, like I say, most of my stuff is pretty good, but if I wanted to use this one, I hit A on the Xbox One. If you're not sure what the corresponding thing is on your um, console, have a look down the bottom and it should give you a little hot tip. So here you can see A, use. And then it will highlight what can be repaired. So you can see it's saying, right, you can, these are for armor. And then have a look at the icons here. So 93% is probably my weakest. So if I click A except there, and now I have a look at my armor. So I come across, and you can see it's fully repaired. So that's the first way, that's on armor. And if we have a little look on weapons, I've got the same thing here, master, journeyman, amateur. And this time if I click exactly the same method, but it will highlight the swords. So it says 94%. 92% so I don't need much repair so I'm just using an amateur one I click use again and we should see if we go back to that item it's at 100% I'll also just uh, go to a shop and show you how you repair in there as well so I'll do that in just a sec the other way to repair your weapons and armor is to go and find either an armorer or a blacksmith so we've got one here so I just go in and talk to him greetings and he will waffle at me and I'll skip that. And the way you need to look at it is um, have a little look at the... Let me see what you got. What do you have on offer? And then when the shop opens, hit the right button until you get to repair. This will show you what you have equipped that can be repaired and you can pay a fee to repair it. Sometimes this is worth doing and sometimes not, depending on how much wear your weapons and armor have got. So you can see, for example, to repair this blade sword would be 38 crowns. This one, one. This one, one. Because they're all at 99%, like we were talking about before. I can also choose to repair all of my equipped, if I wish, uh, by hitting X. And then press OK, and everything will then be repaired. I've also got this one here, which is in other. This is not equipped, so I can choose to repair it if I want. So I just hit A, and that will also be repaired as well. So you can do this with a blacksmith or an armorer, and that's how you repair it inside a store. Or you can use the other way. While we're in the store, let's have a little look at a shop. We should be able to purchase the kits that I was talking about, which are very useful when you're out and about and you're not near an armorer to repair. So if we have a look down through this guy's extensive inventory, hopefully, let's have a little look. What have we got? That one's, nope. There we go. So notice that he's only got armorer, oh sorry, armor repair kit, um, journeyman, master, or amateur so if you want ones for your weapons you also need to go and find a blacksmith to buy those as well so they are very useful to have out and about 
I hope that was useful to you. If it was, give us a thumbs up, please. Any comments, welcome. Did I miss anything? Hopefully not. Um, anything else you're struggling with The Witcher 3, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help you in other things. Are you a fan of The Witcher 3? Love to know what your thoughts are on the game. Thanks very much for watching and if I was of use to you, also please subscribe to the channel, help me grow it. Thanks very much. See ya.